Today we're looking at the top 20 most valuable vintage rock records. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at the top 20 most valuable vintage rock records. And today we're going to center in on rock 45s. Now, some rock records are so rare that they only show up once every few years. Some even show up only once a decade. But there are some very valuable records out there right now by some very well-known people that everybody should know that can sell for thousands of dollars right this minute. Now with 45, sometimes it's the sleeve that it comes in, the picture sleeve. That can be most of the value. Now this first one here is Rolling Stone Street Fighting Man. Extremely scarce to have the picture sleeve and the disc together here. There's only a few known copies. This one sold for $18,000. Now, as I said, some of these only show up very rarely, so you may not even be able to find a sales record for the last few years. This one goes back to 2020, so it's been a year since one of these has sold. Now, there are some 45s that were not released as a stock copy or in very extreme small limited quantity. A stock copy is the copy that you would buy at a record store. Some records were only produced as promos and they only slapped a few labels of stock copies out to the general public. One of those is Kiss right here and Let Me Go Rock and Roll with Hotter Than Hell on the reverse. Now this is one of the highest priced Kiss 45s out there other than some rare imports and pressings from other countries. This one sold for over $85. $500. Now this next one's a Beatles and this one was pressed actually for the opening of a very specific record shop and it was only available if I'm not mistaken from that record shop. These do show up you might see one or two of these a year. They did press these in semi good quantity so there are still some of these out there. Now this one is sealed and it sold for over $3,000. Now if you just had the record that would be fairly pricey as well but you really want to have the sleeve for this one because that is the unique aspect of this. Extremely scarce to find the sleeves for many of these. Now here is a classic garage rock here. This is the Hangman of Fair Field County. Most people just know them as the Hangman. This is a High Castle label of the song Stacy, $2,500. Now with many records, there are local or private pressings. When the group pressed it themselves to release locally at bars or places that they were playing, those are usually called private press records. This is a small town one. Not a ton of these were pressed. That is why it's worth so much money. You want to be metalheads, you got to listen to the right metal, right? Okay, here's your basic training. Now pay attention, puss. My name is Major Mayhem, and it's my job to turn you imps into proper combat metal troops, no matter how sniveling and weak you are. Okay, now that we have that straight, grab these combat discs and stick them between your ears. Now this next one's the Paragons. With these, they have to be on the correct label. Many times a band will have re-released the same song on two, even three, and four different labels. It's usually the very first label that they release the song on that is worth the most money. This is the Paragons, a very highly sought after group. Most all of their records, whether they be a 45 or an LP, will sell for some good money. This is a Bobby, a small local town press and that is why this one is worth so much money they were very limited in production back when this first came out now this one's a local one from my area here up in Ohio this is a Scarlight label of Shepherd's Herd singing I know classic garage rock and roll from the 60s early 70s highly sought after these are the sorts of things that I would find up here now this next one is a Beatles one that is valuable again because of the picture sleeve Many times the picture sleeve, as I said in the beginning, can be where most of the value comes from. This record as a promo would still carry some value, though, 
either way but the sleeve is what you want this is advertising it it's something that doesn't show up it's sold for 2400 plus dollars because of that now here's a kinks on reprise and this is the village green preservation society scarce limited pressing wasn't super popular didn't play much on the radio at all so many people may not even be aware of what this disc is it's the standard reprise label as well it sold for 2300 bucks now this next one's the majestic this is on a marlin label and it's them performing nighty night with caveman rock on the flip side it went for twenty one hundred and twenty six dollars extremely scarce with records just like many other categories as well the condition is everything they have to be nice they have to play skip free you don't really want much damage but some records even warped cracked with tons of scratches can still sell for hundreds if not thousands of dollars just because of the sheer scarcity of the record vinyl itself now here's another local one this is the flyby nights and this is on a tiffany label from here in ohio also this is another one of those small limited production runs that was pressed by a small local unknown company to most people this one still went for over two thousand dollars a lot of these will also be defined as garage rock or psych psychedelic rock all of those genres all kind of mixed together into the rock genre itself and that was for all the kids at Central High. And kids, if you enjoy good music and good cereal, here's an offer you won't want to miss. <laughs> now you can get all the monkeys' greatest hits free on post alphabets, honeycombs, and frosted rice crinkles. Now this next one's a very unique one. This is a misprint. There's an extra T in the Beatles name itself. So they've got two T's instead of just one. Now this was a mistake that was caught fairly quickly. They did correct it and reissue it with the correct spelling of the Beatles. But quite a few did get out. So there are some of these out there. Now there's a very interesting story on how that all happened to begin with. If you're interested, you should be able to readily find it on any internet basic search. Now here's another misspelled one here, but this is a promo. It's a white label promo. You'll see WL in the title of many listings and that just designates that it's a white label doesn't necessarily have to be a promo it doesn't necessarily even have to say that it's a promo but usually white labels are promos they were sent out to radio stations and things like that so they could play them on air before the record was actually released trying to drum up interest so when the record hit the market they would sell fairly well now here's a David Bowie rather interesting one this is a stock one also this is a limited pressing there was only a few released in certain areas that is why this one is worth so much money can't help thinking of me as the song now there are some David Bowie that were only released in Canada or other places and not in the US all of these factors play into why they're worth so much money why this disc is worth almost two thousand dollars now this is a US pressing but David Bowie does have some that were on a Canadian only pressing now here's the Saxons. They're performing Things Have Been Bad. This is on a Yorkshire label. Now this is designated as a psych, which is psychedelic rock all tied in together there over eighteen hundred dollars spectacular label now one thing you got to worry about if you're not up on records is many of these have been repressed there's been some bootleg modern versions to supply the market itself they're not necessarily done to fool people but novices or people that don't know the difference can be fooled by them people just want a disc to play so they don't mind in many cases getting a reproduction of it so you got to be leery of that but if if you know how they're stamped or marked in the dead wax, some of the original ones sometimes are actually hand etched into the dead wax. Other ones are actually stamped where the matrix is stamped, machine stamped at the factory. So basically you just need to know how it would have been marked for the first pressing of the disc and you should be fairly safe. Are you tired and frustrated from always straightening out your LPs? Now with KTEL Record Selector, this will never happen again. To choose your favorite music, tilt the first record forward. The others follow automatically. Pick your selection when it appears. To choose more LPs, lean the next record forward and wait for your choice. Now, some of the hottest running ones for the longest time have been Elvis on Sun Records. Now, they have to have the push marks to be the most valuable. Push marks will be three raised section where the machine would have pushed the record out of the stamping machine. And those are called push marks. 
They are actually underneath the label, so you just have to feel for them. You will always be able to see them if they are on there. Not all of them will have it, though. There's a ton of different variations and varieties of Alvis Sun Records. These early ones have a ton of different varieties, so you've got to be extremely careful on which version, which variety of them you are finding. There are whole sites just covering the five or so Alvis 45s on Sun, giving you all the different breakdowns on them. This routinely sells for a thousand plus. This this one's over $1,800 in itself here. Here's another heavy garage rock here. This is Those Rogues. This is what they call a holy grail. And this is I Wish I Could See You Again. This one sold for $2,100. Another limited run here. Now with some of these labels as well, there will be no other song but that one on that label. The label was a custom pressed or custom made up just say for a group or a special specific release. In many cases, some of these 45s could have actually been pressed by a major manufacturer just using a different label, a smaller town label on it. You're crazy! You're a madman! You're an animal! Uh, you're a warrior! A wicked warrior! Ten dudes with wicked warriors! Oh, uh, you're a ballerina! You're a ballerina and a tutu! Tutu for the show! The Double Live Kansas album new for the show! Now here's another Elvis record. Now this one's very unique because it has a promotional picture sleeve. Usually you don't find many promotional picture sleeves and when you do, almost all of them will sell for some big bucks. There's quite a few Elvis 45s that can sell for a thousand plus, including some of the compact 7 inch 33 and a third. Some of those are extremely scarce to say the least, as are some of the living stereo 7 inchers for Elvis. This one went for over $1,700. Here's another small pressing. This is the Creations. This is no Silver Bird on Centurion. One thing you'll notice as well is a lot of the higher price ones are on these smaller labels. It's usually the label you've never heard of that will be worth the most money. Most bigger labels produce tens of thousands, if not more, of most 45s. And that's why these smaller labels as well carry that high of a value. It says here... Take as many as 13 albums for only one penny when you join the Columbia Record and Tape Club. Terrific? You bet. But I'll show you a secret way to go this offer one better and get up to 14 records or tapes instead of 13, all for that same penny. Yes, 14 stereo records or tapes you choose yourself. The music you want most. Now this is The Pink Floyd, which is how they were originally titled on these 45s. See Emily play on Tower. Tower is a record store as well as a record producer. The record sleeve is where most of the value comes from in this one as well. The record itself you may get four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for, but without the sleeve it will never sell for this much ever. And the last one here is The Undertakers. This one here you'll find on a ton of different compilations, as you will many of the other ones here. I fell in love for the very first time is what this is, and it's on Black Watch, the label Black Watch. Over $1,300 for this classic one here. Now, many of these labels and groups we're showing you here, too, you may run into times where you don't see the word the at the beginning of the group's name. It'll just say, say, Undertakers. 45 records in general are highly sought after. They can go for well over what the LP can as well because more people like these. They fit in jukeboxes also. Well, there we have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Of Rhino, let me sing. O keepers of the cool, O masters of the past, I seek thy catalog. 800 number. It's a free call, it's a free catalog. With catalogs in hand, I wander through these sacred decades. Be it rock and roll, country, rhythm and blues, comedy, children's fair. 
or the unravished home video. Oh, fair rhino. Oh, sweet rhino. Oh, virtuous rhino. When old age shall this generation waste, thou shalt remain the bastion of taste. Rhino rocks my world.